Hey, Trey. Um, would you think, would you say this is one of the more complete games you guys have put together this season? And just what did you like the most about what you guys did out there? Uh, I would say it's definitely up there uh, with one of them. I mean, just the way we played from beginning to end and um, just really followed the game plan. And uh, I mean, just really everybody contributed. And um, I think that's the best thing is that everybody really got a good feel. And uh, going on this, this, this road trip is going to I mean, help us. Help us. How good was it to see Bogey kind of get back to his old self a little bit after being injured? It was great to see. Uh, I was telling throughout the whole game, uh, get a rhythm, find a rhythm. And uh, I know he's been out for a while, so it's, it's really good to see to see some shots go down for him. Andrew Lopez from ESPN. Hey, Trey, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN here. Kind of a, a couple big picture questions. Obviously, I saw the, the oop you threw to, to JC off the off the backboard tonight. Um, in um, Overall, how, how long does it take you? And I'm not talking about just off the, you know, off the backboard type stuff. But how long did it take you to develop that trust with, with him in throwing oops and knowing that no matter where you put the ball, he was going to be able to go up and get it? Uh, I think it took the Utah Summer League for me to really uh, find that out. Uh, when we got to Vegas in that Summer League, my, my rookie year, uh, we just had a connection and just on the court, pick and rolls. Um, I mean, he's developed into an even better uh, three-point shooter since then. And uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just fun. And the connection we had, I mean, we have, um, we, we've had this for a long time. So uh, probably around then, I think, is when that connection started. Do you, do you have a favorite one that you've ever thrown him? Um, actually, my first, my first preseason rookie, I mean, my first preseason game, I think we played the Pelicans and I threw a, uh, a lob off the backboard, and he he caught it over Julius Randle when he was uh, in New Orleans. Uh, I think that was that was probably my favorite pass I've thrown so far. All right, thanks, Jamila Johnson. Hey Trey, congrats on the win. Okay. Um, uh, so what has it been like to see Nathan Knight kind of shine out there? Uh, it's it's awesome to see. Uh, it's awesome to see because. I mean, you see the, the work he puts in and how hard he, he goes in practice. Um, I mean, just how how much he cares about the team and how much he cares about just winning. And uh, so when he gets his opportunity and he, he's been doing what he's been doing, it's, it's great to see. So I'm, I'm happy for him and uh, don't want him to stop right now and just want him to keep going. Christos. Hello, Trey. Congratulations on the win. It was the seventh straight win for your team. It was. It is the the longest activate winning streak right now in the NBA. How is that feeling for you? Uh, feels great. I mean, anytime you're winning, uh, I mean everything else feels good. Um, so for me, i all I care about is winning, and we're doing that right now. And um, I mean, nothing can be better. And also about you, you started pretty well the game. You sat in the bench in the fourth, the whole fourth quarter. How was that uh, to see the whole game, the whole fourth quarter from the bench? And uh, how important is to carry on from that momentum tonight? Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, just being able to have that that rest, um, knowing our, our tough schedule coming up, playing basically every other day and some back to backs. Uh, being able to have that fourth quarter rest was, was good, and um, obviously get my my knee to be able to, I mean heal a little bit more and um, get ready for the, the West Coast trip. And the guys that were out there late in that third and to end the game really just took care of business. And um, it, was, it was like that. Rashad Milligan. Hey, Trey, uh, a bit of a couple different questions here. Um, my first one, you're probably the most famous person from Norman, Oklahoma. Um, of course, a couple of weeks ago, you kind of posted, alluded to earlier, that the Norman girls basketball team and what they were doing. Um, I just wanted to know your thoughts on that, uh, of what happened over there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's just a, a really, a really sad, sad situation. I mean, that's, I mean, a commentator for him to, I mean, I, I mean, I, it really frustrates me now just thinking about it. Um, I mean, just knowing those girls, uh, that the coaches, uh, they, they coach my AAU teams on the girls' side. 
some of those girls playing my AAU teams. Um, so, I mean, it, it definitely hit me a little bit different, a li little bit more um, maybe than, than some others just because I have connections with them. And uh, it, it really, really frustrates me uh, just knowing uh, that someone like him had that job and had a, had a, had a voice. And uh, to be able to speak into a microphone and that's how you feel, uh, it's, it's, it's sad, but it's, it's this world and um, I mean, we just, we got to be better as people, as as individuals, and um, I think that's just that's really sad. And I'm I'm proud of the the Norman High girls that for what they're doing and what they did, um, and then go out there and get a get a championship. Um, two days later, uh, really just rubbed it in the, his face. And uh, a follow up to that, have you or your family members ever experienced any type of prejudice or, or racism, anything like that in the Norman area growing up? Um, I mean, from a distance, from a distance, um, maybe in, in games, I remember a couple of times um, just to be on road games in high school, I think I got a couple of fans got ejected for saying some certain, certain things and um, just something that I grew up and just, just knowing, uh, I mean, I was taught a lot about it growing up. And so, uh, it's definitely something that, I mean, happened to me a couple of times in high school. Um, but yeah. Edwin Powell. Trey, you guys have said all year long that it's going to kind of take some time for you guys to mesh together. Is a game like this kind of uh, proof that you guys are finally starting to mesh together as a team? Uh, I think so. I think so. With the, the way we're hitting each other on, on passes, obviously we had, I mean, a lot of turnovers in that first half, but I mean, the way we're moving and, and guys are, are, are seeing each other, uh, it's, it's uh, definitely the connection is growing. I mean, um, still, still can get better, but I mean, it, it's definitely getting there and it's, it's definitely clicking at the right time. Got uh, three more. First from Deshaun Tate. Trey, congratulations on the win. Um, let me ask you this. It's it's that time of the year again, and, and, and it being March Madness, and obviously your Sooners got a big game coming up against Missouri. Uh, how much of them have you had a chance to watch this year, and have you had any conversation with them leading up to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean um... – I've been keeping up with OU all year. Uh, um, obviously, with Coach Howard, what he's doing with Michigan, did a great job. Um, he may win Coach of the Year, but I definitely think Coach Kruger is up in the – should have been up in the uh, – or should be in the, the conversation uh, with what he's doing with that team. And, um, I mean, I've been keeping up. I got him. Got him. I got a couple of brackets. I got a biased one and an unbiased one. Uh, hope, hopefully, they can uh, get past Missouri and then uh, – I mean, go up against Gonzaga and, uh, and steal him one. So it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm pulling for him. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him, a lot of the players uh, recently, obviously, but they're, uh, I'm, I'm going to be watching from afar. Two more. First from Sarah. Hey, Trey. Um, just how important of a stretch is this upcoming West Coast road trip for y'all? And what kind of challenges does it present both with I guess who you're playing, but also just the grind of playing eight games in a row on the road. Yeah, uh, I mean it's, it's it's important for us, uh, especially being gone 16 days, playing eight games. Um, I mean, you do the math. We're playing basically every other day, and uh, not not getting too many practices in, and really just traveling and playing. And so for us, it's it's a it's a mental thing. Um, I mean, in our film sessions, being really locked in and. And uh, it's taking care of our bodies while we're on the road. It's going to be very important to do that. So um, it's, it's, it's going to be an important stretch for us. And so we just got to be ready. And uh, I believe we will be. Last question from Cassidy. Hey, Trey, you guys are undefeated in the MLK uniforms. Does wearing them give you any extra motivation? Or is there just something about when you put those on? Yeah, I mean, it's, we, we ain't lost in them yet. So it's, uh, it's definitely working for us. And three letters on our chest is, um, they, they mean something to us. And so uh, 
I don't know if it's, it's a coincidence or, or, or what, but I mean, we ain't lost in him yet. Thank you, Trey.